Doesn't work. <sighs> I wonder if there's anything fun in the attic. I used to put all this stuff up there. I guess there's no harm in checking. Earth. I've never heard of that. down here, this map belongs to Sam? Who's Sam? Oh well. That applause is entirely unnecessary and totally added in post, but thank you anyways. Hi and welcome to yet another edition of Movie Club. I'm your host and curator, Patrick Smith. And tonight I am delighted to introduce you to our brand new screening, which is yet another part of the summer movie series. And I'm of course talking about the 1985 adventure classic, The Goonies with a screenplay written by Chris Columbus, based off a story by Steven Spielberg, and directed by Richard Donner, who would go on to make the Lethal Weapon franchise. And that's part of why I think this film is such a, a great amalgam of, of incredible parts. Spielberg is great at making adventure movies. It's what he's done for most of his career. Uh, it's what he's really made a name off of. and. Donner really knows how to direct action sequences, which there are quite a few in this film, including the opening car chase, which not only is really well shot uh, and really well framed, it's also uh, used to introduce us to all of the characters that we're going to get to know and love over the course of the film. Other than, of course, fan favorite Sloth. We'll get to him a little bit later. I think even if Spielberg did direct this movie, we wouldn't quite have gotten the film that we did. Donner isn't exactly known for making films for children, or films with children for that matter. In fact, he had a love-hate relationship with working with the kids on this film. Uh, they both drove him nuts, and also were uh, gave some pretty good performances, and he really enjoyed working with them when they weren't driving him up a wall. Donner went on to make the Lethal Weapon franchise uh, based off scripts by Shane Black, and so a lot of his movies contain this really dark comedy. He's also uh, famous for directing Superman, a film that you might be familiar with. He is 
a, a really great director, especially when he gets a great script. And here, I think he had it. Chris Columbus isn't exactly brilliant all the time. I mean, he did write the Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief movie, so he's got a, a couple, couple duds in there. And because Donner's the one directing this, a lot of the dark comedy uh, in this film might make you rethink watching it as, as children, or showing it to your children if you have any. Because there's murder and dead bodies and all kinds of language in this film. Now, it's obviously a very funny film and the dark stuff is played off in his comedy, uh, but <laughs> it it's clearly inspired by adventure films of the past, which were definitely not aimed at children. The case is, is that The Goonies is not only something that's inspired adventure films since it came out in 1985, it's also a movie that's heavily inspired and acknowledges its inspirations from adventure movies of old, like the 20s and 30s, and movies like Treasure Island that have been around almost since film has. Clearly, this film has picked up on a lot of those elements. Uh, pirate movies, just adventure movies in general, search for buried treasure, stuff like that. And has incorporated that into this story that's fantastical, funny, maybe a little bit outlandish. A lot bit outlandish. But it's a lot of fun, in turn. Because it's acknowledging the films that inspired it, it's also a film that is clearly meta and want you to engage with it, and want you to figure out just how silly it can be at times. But that's part of the adventure, it being a little silly, it being a little bit fantastical. I mean, what are the chances that you're a kid who's about to be kicked out of your small town that you've grown up with these friends for your entire life, and you just so happen to find a buried treasure? That's not very likely, but the idea of it as a kid, and even as an adult, makes you remember what it was like to be a child, to have this imagination, to have the capacity for wonder like this. And the fact that the story that we got, the film that we got, is so in touch with what it's like to be a child and to have that kind of imaginative quality, I think it allows us to touch back with that. As adults, we can get in touch with our childhood selves I grew up with these movies, saw them probably before I was supposed to, but these films made me, and I think they've made a lot of other people become who they are, and in a way that they are, they are little portals to get back to those childhood selves. And as cheesy as these films might be, it gives us access to a part of us that we thought we might have lost, and I think that's what makes The Goonies a film that will stand the test of time. Not only is it a meta-adventure film that's in heavily inspired by adventure films that have been around since cinema of yore, the fact that it has lasted as long as it has is a true testament to just how well done it is. But that's not the only thing that makes The Goonies special, of course, of course. You also have to think about the incredible production design of J. Michael Riva, who knocked it out of the park in this film. There are some gorgeous settings right here. Uh, the locations, the physical locations that they got were brilliant, but every set that we see feels lived in and, and old and ancient, and the caves look gorgeous. Because production design allows us to experience something that's real, that's tangible, that we can touch. It's tactile. And it gives the actors the ability to interact with a physical set. And it's clear that with this physical set, with this real place, that these actors were able to lose themselves in the characters and really enjoy it. And it's because of Riva's incredible work that there are times where you believe you're in a cave system. You believe that you're underneath this ramshackle old building that used to house a restaurant that is clearly now the hideout for the Fratelli family. And I think it's because of stuff like this, these little touches, these little fun things that remind us that this film was crafted with love and passion by everyone on board that it really makes you fall in love with these characters fall in love with this story and it's why i think films like the goonies will stand the test of time so 
obviously, I'm about done right now. And so, I think it's privy to wrap up on this note. I love the Goonies, unabashedly. And despite having a background in studying film, I think it's, it's difficult to not love this movie. It's difficult even though that some of the screenwriting choices seems a bit weird. Well, that's just part of it. And it's part of the charm. It's the cheesy aspect of the 80s films that I truly do love and have a passion for. And it's why films like these will live on. And it's why films like these will clearly inspire the next generation of filmmakers like me and like hundreds of other kids that grew up watching these movies. I think we're gonna thank movies like this for giving us the capacity for wonder, for the capacity to believe in adventure. And I think, if nothing else, that's something special. And it reminds us what it's like to be a child in the dream, crazy dreams. So, without further ado, let's go treasure hunting.